Hi, welcome to This is Science, ChicagoParent.com's monthly series in which we do a science experiment or demonstration that you can do at home with your kids. I'm Carrie Kaufman, and this month we're going to focus on the science of sound. Now, I'm not going to teach you how to play the guitar, but one of the things I've always loved about the guitar is that you can kind of see the sound. You pluck a, a string, the string makes a vibration, which you can see. That vibration turns into a sound wave, goes through the body of the guitar, and into your ear. Here at the Children's Museum in Oak Lawn, we're going to construct a simple musical instrument. And you might be surprised at some of the sounds that come out of it. Hey, Darlene. Hey, Carrie. Nice to see you. Nice Welcome to see to you. the Children's Museum. Thank you very much. Uh, Darlene is a board member here at the Children's Museum. For how long have you been, have you been here? Since the beginning. Since, since 2000. And you're going to show us what, a what simple, do you have here for us. A simple little science activity. And you need just a plastic cup, mm -hmm. a large paper clip, and a piece of string, mm -hmm. preferably cotton, but we'll get into some of the other okay. things later. Okay. And all you need to, and, oh yes, and a wet cloth or paper towel. A wet cloth That's or it. paper towel. Okay. Four things. Okay. So with the paper clip, we're going to put a hole in the bottom of the cup, and then we stick the the uh, string mm -hmm. into the cup, mm -hmm. pull it out, and then. This pa same paper clip, mm -hmm. we're being so ecological here, we're going to tie so that the string does not go through the cup. Okay. Very important. Okay. And some people who like things nice and neat put a piece of tape over the top of the paper clip, but it's not, not important. Okay. So now we have our we have cup. A bell. With the, it kind of looks like a bell. Right. You're right. So I want you to just pull on this okay. and see if you can make some music. Sort of. A little, some, yeah. A little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Not bad. Okay. But now let's try something a little different. We're going to take a damp cloth, mm -hmm. and the dampness is going to give us friction, and friction is going to make a cool oh, sound. Okay. Because the friction causes vibration, mm -hmm. and the vibration goes into the cup, and this amplifies the sound to make it much larger. Would you like to try sure, it? Sure, I would like to try it. Okay. Mm. You got it. Excellent. You're just so an expert. So it sounds like a sick chicken sort uh, Well, of. and then when I do it. Oh, it sounds like a clucking chicken. Doesn't it? So this one is a ping pong ball. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't put a hole in it, mm -hmm. so I taped it on. See? and. It's a very, very light sound. Squeaky. It's not it's as squeaky. squeaky. And yeah. I thought squeaky like a mouse. Okay. So it could be, it could be the sound of a mouse. Okay. Then I kept looking and I found this kind of an unusual shaped container. Mm -hmm. And I'm now, trying wait, now, to... Would the shape of the container as well as the volume of the container make a difference in how I, it sounded? Oh, absolutely. Okay. And that's the fun thing about science mm -hmm. is you can try this on anything. Right. I just went into the store and bought some different things. So this one, <laughs> when I was doing it, I thought, gee, it kind of sounded like a squeaky gate. Good work. Somebody's like in a haunted house. Okay. I've got one more for you, a variation, mm -hmm. because I wanted to really get something big. Mm -hmm. And this is just a plastic bucket. Mm -hmm. And we've got the sa it's same exact thing we did. I, I taped it, but underneath of the tape, there's a paper clip. And there's this long piece of string. And so you could really hear the difference yeah. from that. That's a big door. To this. Here's the thing. This is great for little kids. But bigger kids can actually do experiments with this kind of stuff. They can take this and they can, they can maybe muffle it. Put right. something over it yes. and see if that changes the sound. Right. Um, I don't know if you would be able to put something in it and then hang it upside down, but maybe maybe doing it this way. Mm -hmm. um, experiment with different string. Mm -hmm. This would make a great science project. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And just fun. Just fun to try different things out. It is fun. And then you can make noises in the middle of the night and your parents will think that I the house really is like apart. that. Yeah. Or maybe, <laughs> maybe when you order out for chicken some night. You know, you just might want to stay in the background as the family is starting to eat and just go. <laughs> and they, oh no, mom, 
<laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> Thank you so much. A lot of fun, Carrie. Thank you. Thanks for coming to the Children's Museum. I Museum. appreciate it. This is a great place. Oh, okay. <laughs> what does that sound like? Look at it. It still works. Why does it still Because it's damp. And your fingers get damp. You are a scientist. <laughs> So there you have it, some string, some cups, some bigger boxes, a little ingenuity, a little creativity and curiosity, and you can make whatever sound you want to make. This is Carrie Kaufman for This is Science.